What's happening, crew? We're obviously not in our Kansas anymore. We've traveled out here to the majesty of the desert southwest. We're in Phoenix, Arizona on South Mountain, and it's time for a trailside how-to. So, are you ready? This one's gonna be fun. This one's gonna be different. Uh, a little scary. <laughs> Let's go look at it. Okay, so we're out on the East Loop and it's, uh, it's interesting terrain. So pro tip, make sure and bring tire plugs because on the ride over here, I already got a puncture. So this is a little bit chunky. It's way different than what I'm used to riding in Northwest Arkansas, but I love coming back here to Phoenix because it really sharpens my acuity on the trail. And this is a prime example. So what we're gonna talk about today is line choice, is trail vision. So taking this spot right here, which now it's a little chunky, but I don't know, kind of mundane. You look at it and you see, okay, here's where the line goes. Flows back and forth. You got some rocks and some things you want to avoid. So there's the line that the majority of people would take. There's also a few other lines that I've watched Rob Drew take. So we're gonna get into this and we're gonna break it down, but I thought to myself, self, <laughs> you can't do this trail justice because, well, I've been explained what the optional lines are and I'm not quite seeing them. So I thought it's going to make more sense to just have the man, the myth, the South Mountain legend, Rob Drew, explain it. Rob, come on out. Okay, from this point, after you've cleared the first rocky outcropping, you can see the trail merges to the, to the left and arcs around but you can also see a nice ramp, a nice solid ramp right here on the inside. That's what I'm looking for. So using this guy as your takeoff, if you look a little further down the trail, you can see a nice, a nice off camber ramp landing zone. Again, that's what I'm looking for. So you wanna pop off this guy, catch a nice landing in this off camber section that gets you through that little pocket there on the next obstacle on the trail. So to, to to be fair, I want to make sure and point out, this is not a smooth ramp, this is not a man-made feature, this is nature. It's rocky, it's chunky. You got to eye it up. Don't just huck into this thing because you might get caught off guard by what you land in. All right, so once you get through those sections, what you want to keep in mind is when you're talking about a trail that I ride regularly, these are all building into something bigger. And so although you may want to change up your lines and try some different things, there's something coming that requires you to be ready and build speed. And that's the objective so here. From this spot, if you look down trail, you can start to see our objective. We've got a nice ramped takeoff, really fun, a lot of option for air. But between here and there, we've got another couple of undulating rolls in the trail. So you wanna to try to double those up to keep your momentum, give yourself some landings to pump to pick up some more speed. So when you get through that stuff, you're gonna be looking for this little rock guy here. This is not a real pronounced takeoff. But if you time it right under load, you can jump from there into here. Avoid this little barrel cactus because she'll bite you. And then you're going to swoop this right. One more little double. And then you load in for the takeoff for the jump. So as you come down this last section, you can see the takeoff. But the trail where the landing zone is kind of S's. And it's got features on either side that you want to avoid, as will be the case on many trails you hit. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is likely check it the first time through, get an idea of what your landing zone needs to be. This particular obstacle's got two or three places you can, you can nose it in. Hang on. Hide my scratch shoes in my bib first. So Rob's broken it down for us. Uh, it's pretty spicy. Yeah, I'm thankful. I brought the Enduro out this trip. So we came out to do some ride series clinics. Those were amazing. I wanted to bring this bike because I haven't had a chance to ride it in conditions like this. Winter Park was awesome, but for something like this, this particular setting, 170 millimeters of travel is gonna be a little bit more forgiving. So I'm glad I have it now because you gotta almost have pinpoint accuracy, I think, coming through this. So. I'm gonna hit it and we're gonna see, we're gonna see if it works. Let's go. Yep. I jacked it up in the beginning. I wasn't far enough. 
I wasn't far enough right in. here. It looked good when you came through here, I thought. But I yeah, you were, you were too far to the right down there and you yeah. got into some rocky chunk. Yeah. Well, because I looked at that. If you jump. That's, a, that's the key, right? I looked. <laughs> and I went there. All right, let's try it again. All right. So that last pass was super smooth, but at the barrel cactus, you've got to bring your landing in to create some grip because that right turn just before the takeoff is off camber. And so you're not going to have faith in it. Yeah. Off camber kitty litter, so, extra spice. The problem was I was too, I overcompensated and I was too far left. Yeah. So I came in the first time right, now I was thinking too far left. So, so off land, leaning right a little bit and then kind of hit that rock knuckle is what I'm after. Yeah. Damn, dude. All right. Yeah, and keep in mind, you donged it pretty hard when you came through that time. <laughs> if all the risk you take leading up to that section is for nothing if you don't get through that. You gotta, you gotta make sure you get the speed through that last section. So that looked fantastic. You notice when you, when you, I saw you check the jump, but you, you landed right in the minefield <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know. I had a ton of speed. I should have just blasted it, but I, I was kind of scared that maybe I was going too fast and I wasn't ready for that. So I, that's a, that's a perfect example of, you need to be comfortable with what's going there. Or if you're not comfortable, be ready. When I came off, I knew this is bad. I don't want to break this carbon roval wheel. So I really tried to soak it up. But next time, I'll carry it through. Now, should I be looking a little left or do I just want to go straight off? You want to be a little left of your line that time. Because even if you go deep, okay. that high up on the trail, okay. there's nothing good to land on. But if you get in the pocket to the left, you're going to love it. So <clears throat> that time, it was interesting because I felt confident there. Once I lined myself up for that, I was already looking here. That's where trail vision's key. Yeah. If you're not looking ahead, you, you can't, you focus on the first thing way before you get there. And when you're doing that thing, you need to be paying attention to the next thing and working out the math because things happen too fast. But the, the, yeah. I could hear you generating force. I can't wait to hear the audio. So it was funny because things do happen fast. So mentally, what I tried to think about right here was get the lift I want, see where I want to land, then think about rotating and getting that load. And it's crazy because my the mantra in my head was don't rush, don't rush, don't rush, take your time. It's funny because when when you think about it, when you visualize it, it seems like you have more time to do it. So Well all the while there's so much debris on the trail you gotta pay attention right. to. Let's see if I can link the whole thing up. Alright, let's see it. Oh shit, you all right? Yeah. Dude, it looked like you hip checked those rocks. Nah, my arm. That was a little too far left. Too, oh yeah. There we go. Oops, we're elbow pads, kids. Yeah. That was gnarly. <laughs> so on that last lap, the approach was fantastic. You got all the lift. You just were a little bit farther left. And it's ironic because that's what we talked about. On the last one, you were too far right. Yeah. So you kind of missed the sweet spot. You can see. And in the, in the shot from where I was, you threw it totally sideways. Obviously, when you took off, you knew you needed to make some corrections. Yeah, so... But yeah, the back wheel came off the trail and then it was just a, a slow, painful washout. <laughs> well, I knew it was coming, so I kind of dealt with it a little bit. But yeah, as I came off, I instantly knew, crap, I'm a little too far left. But what's crazy is I thought I had it. I didn't think it was going to be an issue. So That's once, where the, the lack of grip here. Well, yeah, once the rear slid out, I thought, oh, dang it. But I kind of slid her in pretty good. It's a lot of Rich Drew coming down on that tire. You're Wasn't asking a lot. All right, let's do it again. All right.
pretty spicy trail broken down a few different ways. So trail vision, alternate lines, I think it takes some time to develop those skills. Prime example is this spot right here. I wouldn't have seen all these, completely confident in that. So with Rob pointing them out, it allowed me now to see them and then start to think about how they would be broken down. So this is a fun thing. It doesn't matter what level rider you're at, what sort of trails you ride. You can try to do something like this. So pick a spot that you find that's really fun and next time through, Try to look at it through a different lens. See if you can find something. Instead of bouncing over a couple of those rocks or roots, see if there's a way to load in and get some lift off the root and blast your way through. It'll be safer, you carry a little bit more speed, and a byproduct is a little bit more fun. So, hopefully that made some sense, resonated with a few yous. <laughs> I don't know why I said yous. Um, uh, you know, utes, hopefully it uh, resonated with utes, the, the two utes. So we're gonna, we're gonna roll back, time to head back to Arkansas, another ride series clinic. Uh, hope you enjoyed Rob Drew making an appearance. If you did, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think 2021 is gonna bring. More Rob Drew, more videos like this. So I'm not gonna say these were easy, but it's a little bit simpler to do it like this and I think there's some value in them. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it worked. Hopefully it provided something good for you. Um, Enjoy your week, get out on the trail, spread some positivity, and uh, peace out, dumpers.